going on guys it's Chris here or Chili Games whatever you want to say um, this is gonna be I think my lasting opinion on the beta for Ghost Recon and possibly the the rest of the game but of course this is a beta so there's not everything out yet but all in all it was pretty good you know the game looks beautiful the rendering distance is crazy but let's just check out my maps. I've done everything in this province and in this one. And the other day I was playing with my friend and we had finished the last mission. And we, we had been hyped to play it all day to get the M4 tactical. But then after we beat that mission, it was like, oh man, like what is there else to do? And for me, it's kind of just like all these missions with the the people that you're helping out is they're just really repetitive, and I don't know. I, I guess it just like it like once we finished that last campaign mission, it just the game kind of died for us. And of course, it's the beta, and there is the map is massive, and the campaign is going to take nine years to complete. I mean, we did this, and it took us all pretty much all three days to do this just to beat everything and we haven't even scratched even find this guy so I think the game has a lot to it but also I think there's a lot missing especially with for me I don't feel like the perks did a lot for you I mean you did get a grenade launcher the ammo capacity was good for me I felt like the destruction of vehicles with your weapons was necessary because when you're fighting people and they get reinforcements it's it just gets really annoying it was pretty cool the drone was nice that feature was cool being stealthy in this game is so much fun and I like how people are weaker if you kill them stealthily I guess that's how you should say it because they'll be like one shot if you're undetected but I've had people take up to like six shots from a an assault rifle and it's like oh my gosh and it is pretty easy to die in this game like if you get overrun or there's anybody close to you really they're shooting at you you don't pay attention it is pretty easy to die and my helicopter that was how we were going to get around this video okay cool but yeah playing playing solo is okay definitely would recommend playing with friends um let's see See this guy spotted me already. I'm gonna use the drone real quick. I do like the drone. It is really cool. It helps out. I just realized that they can see it if you get too too close to them, so be careful of that. But with the game, I really wish they would what they would add is once you kill somebody, I wish you could search their body, like just for ammo, if there was like certain guns with the same ammo types or I don't know, it's just like when there's a bunch of these dead bodies laying around and you can't do anything with them, it kind of just like, for me, misses an aspect of the game that they really could have just nailed. Especially with the game is big, because it is big, but also there's a lot of like open space, like some people were thinking it was going to be, and oh, I don't have my suppressor on. Yeah, that's good, Chris. So yeah, there's a lot more they could have done. Of course, this is a beta. This is just, for me, constructive criticism. And yeah, we're in trouble right now. See, I don't know how this is one-shotting on us because they're the basic enemies, but the gunplay is pretty nice. I like it a lot. Um, I don't know, the... Uh, the muzzle flash and the guns kind of look, this guy will do it. From afar, it's like, looks really, I don't know, not up to par with the rest of the game. But other than that, it's pretty nice. I like the guns. Um, the customization for the guns is pretty sweet. I like how you unlock all the stuff. I just wish, honestly, I almost wish there was like some kind of currency system to where you could go trade and like, I don't know, you even buy guns just to add a different like aspect to this game. Just because, excuse me, like with all this, it's just, I don't know, it was so much fun, but until we beat that last campaign mission, 
I was like, there's really not much playability after that, for me anyways, and that's my opinion, but for the casual gamer, I feel like this is a fun game because there's just so much to do. Um, it's not as in-depth as I wanted it to be. It seemed kind of linear, you know, you either, I mean, you either just drive around and kill people or you do these side missions, you go get skill points, or you do the main story mission, which is all revolved around, like, uh, these enemy bases that are here and there, and, you know, oh, and one thing is the Unidad, they are so annoying, and I guess they, they should be, because, you know, they're like the army or whatever from Bolivia, and they're just staying out of the fight, and the cartel's playing them, so, I mean, they're pretty overpowered, in my opinion, um, to get away from them is a pain, but I mean, I guess that's to be expected. Um, yeah, the game, I love it when it rains. This game looks so good when it rains. They did so good with the graphics. A lot of people were kind of skeptical about how the graphics were going to be because of course, you know, like the trailers, they're going to have like the best looking stuff in it and they're going to rig all these moments up and make it look good. But, you know, honestly, this looks fantastic to me. Like, I don't know. What Target is this? This is some kind of nail gun? Okay. I think they nailed the graphics and the gunplay is nice, like I said. The stealth aspect of the game is nice. The flying and the... He didn't die? Wow. See, that's what I'm talking about. Like, see, he just took so many bullets out right there. Still taking bullets. Still taking bullets. What is this? But yeah, so you'll get the reinforcements coming, and this sniper rifle, the HTI, is insane. And I don't honestly am confused why we got it in the beta, just because it is like the highest damage in the game for like any sniper rifle. So I feel like, I don't know, they just gave us so much in the beta. They gave us the M4 Tactical, which is pretty sweet. I love the kill. I love the experience thing over there. Just how you f the hit marker sound. It's all nice. The uh, what was I saying? The flying. For me, it's just kind of. I like it. I, you can't get as fast with this one. I feel like I don't know. I can't. There's just something about it that I can't figure out. Especially with the plane. It's all on the left analog stick, and that's just kind of, kind of bugs with me. I don't know. It's not my favorite. But. I mean, other than that, it's a great game. There's going to be... I know that this is just the beta, so they didn't reveal everything. I'm just hoping... I don't even know. They just really should add, like, more stuff. I feel like a currency system to barter and trade to get, like, um, the armor. I feel like the armor, that's a big point that I forgot. The armor. So, my character is kind of stealthy, so he has, like, not the heaviest armor in the world. And so I feel like that should help you have like more, like definitely less bullets, like bullet defense, but also you should be able to like run faster and be just more elusive in your suit. But also if you wanted a heavy armor, then it would take more bullet damage, but you'd be slower. If they added something like that in the game to make him more unique, you know, because Pretty much you just pick it and that's part of your appearance, but they could do so much more with the armor and I'm about to get run over by my own chopper and it's flying away again. And that's how it ends, cool. So yeah, I just hope, I mean, it's kind of late, the game's about to be released. I'm not sure what all they can add and what all they can change, but this is just my constructive criticism on it. I like it a lot, it's very fun to play. The full game is going to be incredible, no matter like, some people are going to scrutinize it for it's the littlest things, but I mean, I and I did the same, but I'm giving it a chance. I feel like it's going to be good. They did a good job with it. So yeah, please like and subscribe for more content on this. Uh, love you guys. Peace.